Hi everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Di. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is this week's Mimeograph Monday with a twist. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And Mimeograph Monday with a twist is basically, I case a, a project out of the catalog and then I do a twist. So the first one is my catalog version of how I think the card was done. And then I do a twist on that project. And this has been a very popular, um, I guess it's a series. I, I didn't start numbering them like I do my Teach Me Tuesdays. Um, maybe I should have, because then I would remember how many I've done. But, um, but that's okay. So that's what is going to happen today. So I have a really cute project to share with you. And I know um, Halloween's a little ways away, but it's it's a Halloween project. But you could totally um, do it, you know, it, you can give one of these treats away anytime. All right, so um, make sure you say hi if you are here. Um, there's a little chat thing on the side so that if you have any questions, just ask them over there. And um, and then I will be watching live with you so that I can um, respond to you if you have any, any questions. And uh, I think I'm, I'm ready to start. All right, so let me <coughs> cover the camera so I don't make you too seasick when I <coughs> get the camera in place. That looks, that looks pretty good. Okay, so the um, card, well, it's not even a card. It's this cute little treat bag right here. I love these little bags. They're the peekaboo um, bags in the main catalog. And they're, they have like plastic inside them so you can put, they're like food grades, so you can put candies in them. Um, now I don't have the candy corn, so I'm just using um, wrapped candy, but it's basically um, the same little thing. So I'm going to do this one right here. And it is a bundle, so it actually is a stamp set, and then there's a punch that goes with it. So it is super cute. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right. So I have my little, um, my recipe here, and then I knew what I needed to use. So let's get our pieces going here. So these are the fun little bags. So they come white and they come in craft. So, um, you know, it's, it's totally up to you which you use. So I'm going to do the white one because that's what they did in the catalog. For my twist, I did a craft one. All right, so I'm just going to kind of get this open. And it, to me, they're very, very, um, they're sealed really good. All right, so there we have that. I just kind of want to get it so that I can um, put my candy in it and get it ready. All right, then I just take my fingernail and I split the bottom just to kind of get it open. I don't know if this is the right way, but that's what I do. So I split that open. And then you want to squeeze this. So see as I squeeze, it kind of makes that little insert kind of pop out a little bit. So, all right. Then I can put my candies in there. So I'm just going to put one, two, three, four five all right and i just picked the little purple candies and these are just wrapped candies from the dollar store so you can put whatever you want all right then i'm just going to squeeze that and then my bag is all ready to go all right then we have our scrap paper and we're going to use the highland tether and this little hat right here now, when you look at the punch, so we use our punch upside down, you can see that the um, hat has kind of an angle to it. So when I stamp, I kind of want to stamp it on that same kind of angle. And it's going to make it a little easier to punch out. All right, so ink that up really good. And I just inked this pad up, so hopefully I didn't ink it up too much. All right, so see how I'm stamping this at an angle? 
there. All right. Now I'm going to let that dry a second before I punch it, just because the humidity with, with the weather. All right. Then I'm also using the, um, oh, what is this one called? Hang on a second. It's the Very Best Trio Punch. And I've used this before, and this makes um, tags and edges and things like that. So I have cut my two and a quarter by three inches. I believe that is what my size is. Let me get my handy dandy ruler here. Yes, two and a quarter by, no, three and a quarter. So two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So what I'm going to do is I want to make my little slit first. So I'm going to put my paper in. And I'm just putting it so that it, I like there's this little mark right here. So that's what you want is in the center of your paper. So I'm just going to just visualize that. I think that looks about in the center punch. And then that gives you your little slit. Then we want to do our edge. And then I'm going to flip this and do the next one. Now I flip it just because, and I have showed this before, if you get in the habit of doing that, because when you do this one, you have to flip it or you get this weird, the shapes aren't the same. So I just have a habit of flipping. And let me show you what I mean. So this is just an extra piece of paper. So I'm going to stamp that. If I don't flip it, this gives you a different kind of shape. If I don't flip it, and I immediately go, you know, just like this, you get two different shapes. So see that? It's like two different shapes. So then that's why you just want to flip your paper before you punch. So if you kind of get in, into the habit of doing that, then, um, then you won't mess up on your tag. All right. It might not matter so much with the straight edge one, but I just do it just out of habit. All right. So we've got our tag ready, and this should be good and dry by now. So let's punch out our hat. So see, by stamping it on an angle like that, I'm able to put this right over the hat and punch that out. It makes lots of confetti. All right. Then I also want my... Um, mango melody for my stars so i just need the stars so i'm just grabbing them from the side you want to make sure you don't punch them too close to the edge because when you do that the punch will have a tendency to fold the paper over and then your punch might get stuck so if you're just going to do like a certain area at least make sure you go in far enough so you have a cut a pretty good distance away from the edge of your cardstock and then you won't have to worry about that all right, so punch, and then stars are all over the place. So let's see, here we go. Let's get my stars. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to put this together, and I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals. Oh, here they are. I was like, where are my dimensionals? They're right here. All right. So I'm just using the baby ones because that's what I have ready to go. Let me adjust my camera just a little bit. Is that adjust at all? I don't know. There we go. Just seemed like it was on a weird angle or something. All right, so we're going to put our dimensionals on here. Ooh, that one is really liking my finger. All right, so this one's pretty simple. I had so much fun with the twist one. You know me, it's always fun. I, I love doing this series without a number. <laughs> All right, so we have our little hat and it's kind of at an angle. And then we have these cute little stars and I just like to flip them over so that they're not the back side and I've told you that before when you use a die that kind of curls the paper the punches are the same thing so there's a definitely a definite front and back 
when you punch out paper two. All right, now I'm just gonna use my green tip glue and it's in this handy dandy little thing. I'm just gonna start it on that little piece of paper and then throw that away. All right, so we're just gonna put little drops of glue where I'm going to glue my stars and get my handy dandy pick tool alright so we want big star little star and then the medium star alright so that goes there super fun super easy isn't that cute all right so let's bring our candy bag over and then I'm using the black and white gingham um, ribbon all right so we want this to go behind here and so what I do is I just kind of fish this up through the back and fish this one up from the back as well. Sometimes you need three hands. Hang on a second. Like there we go. Pull that down tight and then it makes your hole bigger. And I'm doing it with my left hand and I'm not left-handed. I need to switch hands. There we go. Some people are is that called ambidextrous? They can use both hands, but not me. All right, so let's put this back on the bag. And then I'm just pulling this tight, trying to keep that back there. Because I don't want to glue it to the bag because I want to be able to remove this. So I'm just wanting to tighten it there without it um, twisting in the back. All right, so that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna tie on here, which will hold my tag a little bit. And I love it has these notches in the bag, so the ribbon just naturally goes in that notch. All right, so that's good. Now I like to tie them upside down because I feel like I can get my tails to go the right way so I'm gonna tie and then before I tighten it I just make sure that my tails are down and then tie our bow so cute all right then trim 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 and trim so I cut myself really too much ribbon but I didn't waste tons and it gave me some wiggle room so I don't mind you know I'd rather do that than have to really mess with it all right so here is the catalog version one and so now let's get ready for the twist one so let me clean up just a little bit and um, we'll do the twist one all right I think that's not too bad, not too dirty. All right, now I forgot to show you what I was using stamp set wise. All right, so this is the Bewitching. So that's what um, I'm, I used for the first one, but this doesn't have any greeting. So I did want to add a little greeting to my twist card. So I'm using the Scary Cute. This stamp set is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I can hardly wait to um, share with you some fun stuff with this. So um, I'm usually not much of a solid uh, stamp. You know, I like to sit in color, but this one is so cute. I mean, this little girl here, I keep saying, she reminds me of the Tooth Fairy. So it doesn't have to be a Halloween set. So she just looks to me like the little Tooth Fairy. So anyways, I love this little one. He's got like a vampire tooth coming out. So it is so super fun. So if you do like Halloween, this is a definite um, one that you want to grab because it also has some cute little sayings with it as well. All right, so that's what I'm using. All right, so off to the side there. All right, I also told you I switched out the bag. So this time I used the 
natural, I guess you would call it natural bag. So let's see if I can open this one up a little easier. It's always easier when there's no camera watching. All right, so open that a little bit and just give it a squeeze. Show no fear. So give it a little squeeze and it just pops that open a little bit and it just allows it to open and if you want to stand it, it kind of helps stand it. But like I said, it's like you're on camera so I'm not going to work right. All right, there we go. So now you can stand your little bag up. All right, so let's put, because I'm going to use crushed curry and basic black and I'm going to use Highland. So I want to kind of mix and match my candies. So we've got some purple and some yellow ones in there just to go with the decoration. All right, we're going to close our bag and set it aside. All right, now I also, we're still going to use the punch. I'm going to use my Stamparatus. Because remember I said that I usually don't stamp with solid things. Um, I like to color. But I did notice that um, I needed to stamp the solid images a little bit more than once. So the Stamparatus is the great thing to use. So I'm just going to take a piece of basic white. I'm just going to stick it in our Stamparatus. I'm using Memento because surprise, surprise, I am going to be um, adding some color. All right, I'm just going to stick that pad under there and then that just keeps this flush so that I'm able to ink this up and have a little bit of pressure, you know, something to support the plate underneath there. All right, so I have my cute little shoes and my hat. Because I had to use the shoes. Oh my gosh, they're too adorable. All right, so we have our hat and our shoes. And then, so give it a good push. You can use your hands, or this is just a dry erase thingy. All right, so there's one, one, um, whatever, one coat. So see how it's not super, super dark? So I'm gonna do it again. So this gives you your memento a lot darker. So if you want it to be, and you can do this, you know, with anything, right? It doesn't have to be a solid. All right. Oop, and I got ink on my hand. So rub. And I usually like to do it three times. So see, almost perfect. And we'll do it one more time. I like to keep my stamps a little bit away from the hinge. All right. So see, look how nice and dark those are now. So they're perfect. All right. So I'll we'll set this behind me. Okay. So now we have our cute. Now I I will have to trim this in order to get that um, punch in there that's not a big deal we'll just give it a trim I'm also going to cut out the the um, shoes so we're just gonna cut these two right away from each other all right so let's cut out our hat ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. stop singing all right so we're gonna cut out our little hat I feel like I should have some haunted music on or something in the background. All right, punch out our hat. And so we're gonna color that and we're gonna color this. So let's get to coloring. I need a grid sheet. 
So we're just going to use the whole pad here. And I do have several of these underneath my, uh, my Stamparatus. I do have about this many underneath the Stamparatus. And then it just gives a little bit more um, thickness so that it has a little more pressure. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to color our shoes and our hat. So I'm not using tons of color. All right, so we want our little stockings and I want my stockings to be purple. So we're gonna use light Highland Tether. Wait, 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 I do that every time. We want light, fresh freesia. So I want light, fresh freesia. And then light Highland Tether. So these two are really good together because it really has a definite look to it than just using the dark freesia and the light freesia or the light heather and the dark. So it lets me put that, um, that, see how it looks light in the center? Just by using those two colors. All right, now we don't have gold. I know I've talked about this before. So we're just gonna make up our own gold so that the buckles of the boots look gold. So we're gonna use light Cajun craze. And on one side of the buckle, I'm just gonna put a little bit of light Cajun. And then I want my dark daffodil. And I just blend those together and now it looks like it's gold. So let me pick that up so you can see. There we go. So see, it looks gold that way. All right, so let's bring our hat over. And I want my hat to coordinate because we figure, you know, witchy poo, you know, she might be a witch, but she coordinates her outfit. So we have, so this time I picked the polka dotted one just so that um, it's the hat's a little different. Plus, I could have a little bit more fun with it. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make the hat band be gold. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did before with the Cajun and the daffodil. All so it looks like a gold hat band. So I just blend those two together. And this daffodil will, will soften that cage in a little bit and then I'll go back and just add a little bit more but kind of like in a line following the line of the the hat so it just looks super cute and looks like a gold band all right now we're going to do the the dots of the hat the same way we did the stockings so we're going to go light Freesia for the dots. So cute. So see how nice and dark that hat is? All right. And then my light highland. So just off to the side, just put a little bit. On the dots. And then we'll go back and soften those lines just a little bit with the light freesia again. But I love the look, look of that. All right, so just touch that line just a little bit. You don't have to be too perfect because it is kind of a fun stamp, so you don't have to be perfect. I like that cartoony look of that, of that, um, that line there. All right, so there's your hat. So cute. All right, so let's put our bag together. All right, so what I also did was I wanted to use a tag tag. So I used the tailored tag die. I did one in basic black. Then I also did, now this is that DSP I have mentioned that's in the mini catalog. So let me show you this. DSP. In case you're new, this is where 
this comes from. So this is actually a hostess freebie. So if you, um, or friends, it, it depends. You might have a $150 order on your own, or you can put your orders together with friends. Just make sure you let me know you need a hostess code before you start your orders. And you could pick this DSP for free. If you have a lot of um, celebration stuff you want to pick, then it's best you do your own order because then you would be able to pick three celebration items and that's always um, a great choice too. All right, so that's where these DSPs came from. So I did a tag in basic black. I did the same tag with this DSP and I did the same tag with the stripes. So I wanted my stripes to go up and down even though her stockings went back and forth. I just kind of like the up and down. All right, now what I want to do is I want to um, tear this because I don't want it to be this big. I wanted to give it a little something, something. So I'm going to tear it. Now I'm going to tear it towards me. And when I tear it towards me, what that does is it exposes the inside of the DSP. So see that white tour edge? If you tear it away from you, then you get this where you don't have that exposed white showing through. So just if you're not sure, I always tear it, you know, small and then you can see, oh, I need to go the other way. And then you would go the other way before you tear it, you know, right from your piece. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. All right. So we're going to put this on the bottom and I'm just using the green tip glue. And I put the black behind just to, to um, make my tag be a little bit more stable because this is just DSP, so it's kind of flimsy. And oops, hang on a minute. I moved that when I'm messing around. There we go. Um, so I wanted it to be a little bit more stronger, so I'm just going to back it. And it looks cute on the back too. So I'm just going to back it with the basic black. And then that way, your tag is all strong in the back. So we're just going to stick it together. And since it's the same one, it just goes together just like a puzzle. Super easy. All right, but isn't that cute? If it was blue and red, to me, this reminds me of Wonder Woman. <laughs> all right, but we've now we've got our stars from here instead of the punch, so it's kind of similar. All right, so let's get our boots. So I'm gonna trim my boots out, and I am going to leave a little bit of a white border around your, the boots. All right, so let's see. And I might speed this up just so you don't have to um, listen to, to me blabber. All right, so I'm gonna speed this up while I cut this out. So see how I went up here a little bit. So then we can decide if we need to go up anymore. And I left this because this is gonna go behind the boots so you won't see it. So I need to go up just a little bit more here. And did you see I almost cut the heel off because I took my eyes off the cutting <laughs> to make sure I was still in the view and I almost Cut off my one heel so that wouldn't have been good all right so there's our cute little boots and this is just going to get stuck on here so just by adding that or leaving that extra it just gives it a little bit more stability and it gives you a spot to put your glue dots all right or your dimensionals all right so we're going to put this on with dimensionals so let's put a dimensional dimensional so we can put our hat on there and I'm going to put my hat kind of at an angle like she's got a little bit of an attitude 
Not too much because then you'll cover the stockings up. But I want it to have just a little bit of a slant. Look how cute she is. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's, before we go on with that, let's bring over our tag. So we have a cute little tag. This is just that from that same tailored tags. I did the same thing. So I did one with the stripes and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I just need it to be really little. I just want this tiny little bit of yellow on the bottom of my tag so it matches the big one. So let me get my greeting. So this is where I got that one from the little kid set, the scary, what was it called? Scary cute. And I'm still gonna use Highland Tether. So trick or treat, where's my grid sheet? I wanna see how straight this is. So this is a little trick. So if you're not sure how straight you mounted it or how straight your sticker is, stamp it on your scrap paper first. And I'm just using the lines of my grid sheet and I'm looking at my sticker and I go, oh, I did pretty good. But I do see that when I stamp it for real, I need to just move it just a little higher on the right side so that it's going to be straight. So see, when I go like this, just go a little bit to the right and then it's straight. All right, so then when I go on my tag, I just know to do that. So that's what you can do when you use the, the clear ones where you can't see through them, like the photopolymer, especially for the greetings, that, that helps a lot. All right, so let's do our trick or treat. I'm just gonna lay this here. It's not really glued, but just so I kind of have an idea where that is. All right, so trick or treat. cute all right let me close the pad and then I can glue my little thing on here all right just a little bit of glue all right very very good then we have let me get rid of this I have the same ribbon, but what I want to do is I want this to go on here, but I want to know exactly where I need to put it. So let's put our little witch on here first so that we know where to put our tag. So I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. So I'm so glad that you are enjoying my mimeograph Monday with a twist. I am enjoying them too. And it is fun to play and come up with, you know, another way of, of doing stuff. All right, so peel these off. I probably put like two too many on here, but that's okay. If there's ever any time that you want me to do a particular projects from the catalog let me know and I'll try to to do it all right so let's stick this on here so I am gonna kind of put her out like kind of at an angle so she's on there so adorable all right so now we know where we want to put our tag but I don't want it like swinging like I don't want it, the person that's getting my treat have to mess with this. So I just want it to look like it's swinging, but it's not really. So I'm going to put a little um, glue dot there just to tack it down so it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm going to stick it there so that it's behind the hat. But now it just looks like it's going to swing, but it's really in place. All right, so let's bring our candy bag over and we're going to tie this on there just like we did before. Now the hole is a little bit smaller now, so I'm going to cut my ribbon at quite, quite a bit of a point so that I can get it in that hole really good. But I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. Stick it through the hole. Just 
push that down a little bit so that your hole is big and bring the next one up and then I just kind of pull them so they're almost even and then just to make it be so it's a little bit smaller so that it holds that bag like before you need two hands <laughs> The, the ribbon has a mind of its own. Here we go, it's getting it. Here we go. All right, so I want my ribbons to be about the same length. Let me scoot my tag over a little bit. Scoot over tag. There we go. We can't hide the, hide the candy. All right, then I just like to put it so that it's in the little um, grooves there. Whoever designed these little bags was ingenious. All right, so we're gonna tie a knot just like we did before. And our bow. Now I'm not gonna add any bling because it's already got a lot going on in regards to we've got stars, we've got polka dots, we've got lines. So we have a lot of texture, you know, in that regards going on. But I do want to add a little Wink of Stella to, so I'm just fixing my bow. Cute, cute, cute. Let me cut that. I want to add a little Wink of Stella to the buckles of my boot. Because right now, it is adorable as it adorable. Isn't that so cute? but my buckles are plain you don't have to but let's just show you how cute it is just adding a little bit of wink of stella to the buckle and now that buckle shines in the light so i want to try to get it there we go see that so now the buckle looks even shinier but isn't that cute? All right, so let me show you. Try to push some of this mess away. All right, so here is the catalog version on the left. And then my tweak, twist. I, I sometimes say tweak, and like later I'm like, oh, I said tweak instead of twist. So forgive me, but you know, you know what I mean. All right, so the catalog version and then my twist version. So I think they're both super cute. It just depends on how much time that you have to do your your little gift, right? But I think your trick-or-treaters would really like to get something like this. Or if you work in an office, it would be great to um, put on somebody's desk. All right, so let me turn the phone so I can say, see you later, alligator. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I think they're super cute. So if you do work in an office, or um, I always like to have like little goodies ready um, for like the mailman or the UPS. Um, I, I still have um, shipped shop for me and they deliver the groceries to the house. So I usually put a little card and something out for um, the delivery person. So and they are just a quick little goodie. You could totally not fill them till you knew, you know, what you wanted. Um, but with the wrapped candies, you know, they're gonna keep pretty well but um I just like how these turned out so anyways all right so I'm gonna say see you later I will see you tomorrow for my oh what number is it I have to flip the calendar I think it's 137 yes <laughs> teach me Tuesdays episode 137 and that will be tomorrow three o'clock or three o'clock Arizona time same time same channel so um, I hope you enjoyed today and have a great night and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye for now.